So this one is what I use all the time. This is like my baby and it's a super simple script and it is a walk into trigger event, right? Should there be a delay, seconds of delay, um, putting the header, additional event after the initial, um, did the trigger run? And that's really important. You saw where I got in that loop where it's like played and it's and then it reappeared and it played and it reappeared and played and reappeared. So I got a float in there to make sure that all these triggers just happen once. And it compares and then it starts the coroutine. And it checks to see, did it run? If it did run, check to see if I need to run a delayed. And if I do, what after how many seconds? This is like a super simple, tiny script. But gosh, it is so effective because now all I need to do is take this one little trigger right here and this one little trigger can basically turn on enemies, turn off enemies, open doors, turn audio. It is just there to be flexible and the only thing that needs to happen for this thing to work is enable it. That's it. Once it's enabled and the player's in there, then, then it can interact. And I can even create another thing where, you know, I could set it to where a, a, a general bull, like if this is enabled, run the trigger. So as soon as it is enabled, I can run the trigger and do everything. 